Good morning and welcome back to the coffee bar. It has been a long time, a very long time. JoeNosCoffee.com. They're out of Lansing, Michigan. Uh, I picked this up at TJ Maxx the other day when I was in Michigan, and I paid $4.99 for this pound of coffee. So we're gonna open it up and have a taste, see how good it is. And as usual, we're gonna try black, then with milk. Ooh, that smells good. All right, so now I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, and I apologize for that, but that's not without good reason. I'll talk about that in a second. But while this is brewing, oh, that does smell good. But while this is brewing, like in every other video, we're going to talk a little bit about Joe's Coffee. This here is the Dark Roast. Now, the package does not tell you what you're supposed to be tasting or smelling in the coffee, so we're going to try to figure it out. bit about Joe's Nose Coffee. This company was started by three employees from a Chicago company back in the 30s. They decided that they wanted their own coffee company so the three of them and their families moved to mid-Michigan which is Lansing, Michigan and started their own coffee company. Uh, it says here there's a family owned business and they sold their first 10 pounds of coffee for $24 a pound. That's not bad at all. They obviously named their company Paramount Coffee Company. And between the 50s and 70s, uh, Paramount Coffee entered their, their newly built roasting plant. In the 1980s and 90s, they had their own green storage facility. That's green bean storage. And in 2000, the company became employee owned. So it says here, today the company is led by three men who have been with Paramount Coffee Company since the early 1990s. So Paramount Coffee, actually let's go back to the beginning, it started, uh, what started as a glimmer of an idea among friends has grown into one of the largest coffee roasters in the Midwest. With ever expanding distribution channels, dis distribution channels, oh I'll get that right. With ever expanding distribution channels and relationships that span the globe. So in other words, three guys had an idea, ran with the idea, and here they are today still making coffee. Now let's talk about Lansing, Michigan. All right, Lansing, Michigan, named the new state capital of Michigan in 1847. Did not know that. Lansing, Michigan has a Potter Park Zoo with a rhinoceros, black rhinoceros, named Dupsy. You needed to know that. Well, here's something I didn't know. Former basketball star Magic Johnson grew up in Lansing, Michigan. He also went to Everett High School. For our, my automotive friends, General Motors makes the Cadillac CTS and ATS vehicles and the Chevy Camaro in Lansing, Michigan, as well as the pickup truck that GM made, REO Speedwagon, was also made in Lansing, Michigan. We also have the Michigan Walk of Fame at the Washington Square sidewalk in downtown. Uh, Lansing, Michigan is the only place in Michigan's Lower Peninsula to, to do real rock climbing on its Ledges Trail at Fitz County Park in Grand Ledge. That would be fun. Alright, coffee's done. Let's see how this coffee tastes for $4.99 for a pound. It says dark roast, but it doesn't smell overly dark. Let's try it. That's pretty good coffee, actually. It's fogging up my glasses here. <clears throat> try the milk. And 
if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know that uh, I usually drink my coffee with milk anyways. It's not bad at all. That's <laughs> I'm floating in my coffee. Well, so this is called the uh, Joe Coffee Tall, Dark, and Handsome. It's a dark roast. It's actually pretty good coffee, and for $4.99, uh, you cannot go wrong with that. I'm not quite sure why. It's not expired. It's still good for another year. This coffee here, you could probably drink before you go to bed. It doesn't seem to have the uh, extremely dark, almost burnt flavor. So I don't imagine that it's as strong as some of the other dark roasts that I've had, but it's pretty good coffee. You drink this anytime throughout the day. This is just about the end of 2019. I hope you've all had a great year because I know it's been a pretty good year for me and my family as well as 2020. We're looking for it to be even better. Would I drink it? Absolutely. Especially at $4.99 a pound. Just a side note, I don't know if that's just because it was on sale at TJ Maxx or you can buy this at Joe's Coffee for that same price. I don't know. Alright, well there you have it. I would recommend Joe's Coffee. I'll leave a link to their website down below. You can go there and check them out. This is not an endorsement. They're not, I'm not being paid to say this. Uh, you've seen me review coffees before that were awful. And I told you they were awful. So It felt really good to get back in front of the camera. I felt like I missed you guys. Anyway, that is it. I hope you all have a good Christmas. I hope you all had a good year. I'll see you on the next one. Later.